hello everyone welcome to or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how i put together my boho baby in bloom baby shower i'm showing everything from food party favors games decor diys and everything in between so let's just jump right into the video okay before we hop into the prep footage i wanted to share my thought process i do this for all of the parties i did this for luca's first birthday party and I will never not do it ever again. So I make a little board. It's almost like my party hub and I use the app Millinote. I'll leave it on the screen as well as linked down below for you guys. And this theme was more of like a boho baby in bloom. So these are my main inspo pictures. I really wanted to have a grazing table, a pretty brunch setup and an arch with a garland. And then in this tab, there's just like a bunch of to do's and details. I have my whole Pinterest board which is just all of my inspo for the party and just little aspects that I wanted to have. For example, this is the invite inspiration and then this is the invite that I made as well as all of the baby shower games and the prediction sheet that you guys are gonna see later. I make everything on canva.com, uh, which is totally free. I made everything ahead of time I got all of my ideas and I prepped and started buying everything about a month or two in advance and then the week of I start to do like the prep, the crafts. I do a ton the day before as much as I can and then the day of it's always still a little bit hectic but there's way less to do and I feel less stressed. So this is the process that makes it all kind of really come together in the end. All right, so starting off with the crafts and the DIYs, I knew I wanted to have an arch as my main decor backdrop with the garland, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. So we were luckily able to find some spare plywood at Lewis's job and he helped me put it together. All of the tutorials that we use to figure out literally everything in this video is going to be linked down below. And then I just used a gallon of paint that I already had. So I think I only spent like a dollar on the brush itself. Obviously there are tools involved, but we luckily had everything here. I do know that you can buy these online. I will leave some linked just in case you don't want a DIY, but if you do want a DIY, that link will be down below as well. For the center of the tablescape, I knew that I wanted to have some really pretty painted vases. I wanted it to look really natural and then I wanted to have dried florals in them. So I got a couple of them at the Dollar Tree and then I found a three pack in the Target Dollar section. And all of my paint is from the Dollar Tree and I just mixed it with baking soda. I will leave a tutorial to this painting method down below as well, but it just creates like a gritty, almost concrete look and feel. And that is exactly what I was going for. So Luca and I actually painted these together and it was a fun craft for both of us. And now I'm using a gold paint marker from Walmart on a canvas from Dollar Tree to create a thank you sign that just tells them to take a succulent on the way out. I did like roughly draw it out with a pen and then I traced over it with the golden paint marker. I loved how this came out. You can get a poster printed or print one yourself, but I just wanted to hand draw it because I had some of the supplies on hand. And these are all things that I did probably about four or five days prior to the baby shower. Moving on to some of the activities, I knew that I wanted to have activities since it was going to just be a simple brunch that was all woman. So I got some inspiration on Pinterest and got some ideas as to the activities that I wanted to do. I created them on canva.com, which I showed earlier in the video. I printed them out and I loved how they came out. I highly recommend a baby prediction sheet. I did this with my first baby shower and it was my favorite thing to read afterwards. Okay, so we've got our baby predictions printed out. I just did like a little bit more than I would need just in case. We also have how big is my belly. So they'll take a piece of twine and guesstimate a piece that would fit best around the belly and whoever's the most accurate will win. We also have the classic like don't say baby game. Everyone will have a pin on. Then if you say the word baby, it gets taken away. If someone else catches you, they get to snatch it and whoever has the most at the end will win. I think I'm just going to give like Starbucks or Dunkin' gift cards, whatever they prefer. And then I know this is a joke. It's a major joke, but it's going to be pin the sperm on the egg. And I'm going to laminate this just so that, you know, we can like 
pick and pull off the sperm. <laughs> and yeah, we'll just see who is the most accurate. So these are the games that I have planned and then just the baby predictions right there. All right, we're doing iPhone quality really quick because um, that's what I had around. I typically purchase my balloons from Etsy. I feel like it's like a quality assurance thing. Typically small businesses have better quality in my opinion, but I tried an Amazon kit this time and it had amazing reviews and I was really impressed with the um, like photos and reviews and stuff. So we're trying that this time. Um, I think we should have no issues. But now, I've done this party thing a few times. I have two balloon pumps, and I'm doing a different style than I normally do. I'm gonna color block them instead of do them like sporadically. So I'm just organizing the balloons right now by size, and then we're just gonna get started and go crazy blowing these guys up. I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be really beautiful. And then I have like greenery, not greenery, Um. I have like those little boho dried florals that I'm going to put in there when it's all said and done. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this comes out. I like to blow up the balloons and kind of like set up the clusters beforehand and then the day up all I have to do is like put it up. So that's a great tip if you don't already do that as long as they're not like helium balloons with garlands and arches they're not typically helium uh, they don't need to be so I like to do them a day, even sometimes two days prior. So here we are going to work putting this balloon garland together. I've showed how I put my balloon garlands together in the past, but I think that an actual balloon tutorial is a lot easier to watch. So the ones that I have used for all of the parties that I've done will be linked down below for you. I essentially blow up two balloons, tie them together. It is so much easier to tie two balloons together than to tie all of them individually. And then I take clear fishing wire and I just intertwine all of the double clusters together to create one large garland. I will say these Amazon balloons held up beautifully. They were amazing quality. They came, I think only one of them had a hole in it, which is not a big deal out of 127 pieces, I believe it was. So I definitely recommend this kit. It'll be linked down in the description for you. And here you can see me intertwining all of the clusters with the fishing wire. I do blow up the five inch balloons separately and then I just use stronghold tape to tape them onto the existing garland. I don't have too much footage of this because I do this the day of as I'm actually setting up the party. And I didn't have as much time as I wanted to to get that footage, but you will see the end result. I literally just take about three balloon clusters and I find empty gaps and I tape them all together. We have now made it to the morning of. I prepped some chocolate covered strawberries. It was just honestly, it was a craving I had. So I really wanted to make sure that I had those there. We kept the food prep really, really minimal for the grazing table. We got a lot of things already pre-cut and variety packs of things. So all we had to do was really take it out of the packaging and lay it on the grazing table. You can see here that we have everything laid out i took everything that i bought and set it up downstairs because the party was going to be outside my mom my stepdad and lewis all helped me put this together i could not have done this without myself 
I put two six foot tables together to make one long table. I used two white fabric tablecloths, some satin blush pink runners, as well as a cheesecloth right in the middle. And everything that you are watching me put on the table with the exception of the DIY vases that you saw me paint earlier are all from Amazon. Some of these things I did return afterwards because I did not need them, but I wanted it to fill the center of the table. So the placemats, the candlesticks, the candle holders, the dried florals, all of that is from Amazon. I wanted to do this party as affordably as possible. And as you can see, we are just setting out the chairs now. And this was the end result of the table. I loved how this came out. I thought it was so simple and beautiful. The weather was amazing. And then for party favors, I found a pack of, I believe, 20 succulents on Amazon and these little stakes that say baby in bloom. So I just set those up and then the sign that you saw me make earlier, I put on an easel that was from the little dollar section of Target. And then that A that I painted is from Walmart. My aunt also made some really beautiful traditional Hispanic um, corsage favors that I didn't get to show because I was already like involved in the party but they were so beautiful and I'm so grateful to have had those. This is just a tiny bit of footage of us putting up the garland but time was a ticking. So now we are jumping in the future. I am fully ready and I am putting together the grazing table. It was the last thing that we did right before guests came. But I will have literally everything that you see on this grazing table and a full in-depth list of everything down in the description for you just in case you wanted to recreate something like this or you had no idea where to start. Obviously preferences with food are different but I had a little bit of everything and I think that everyone really enjoyed it and I'm so happy with how it all came out. I also made a mimosa that I was the only person that wasn't able to enjoy, but that is okay. The ladies loved it. I also strung a piece of twine with clothes hangers with some baby onesies and some of her 3D ultrasound photos as decor. I love this little touch and then I rented a baby shower wicker chair and put some greenery on it. Enjoy these last few shots of the baby shower. I am so happy with how everything turned out. It was such a beautiful time with the woman in my life. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. I hope you found it extremely helpful or at least entertaining. If you like videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. I have a baby coming in June and I do Montessori and motherhood type videos. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching once again and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.